Well, here we go. In less than an hour, Maryland's General Assembly will adjourn sine die. That's right. Senators and delegates are back in their chambers for the final time today, working to get critical pieces of legislation to the governor's desk. WMER 2 News Jack Morgan has been at the State House all day. Jeff, tell us what you're watching as this session comes to a close, Jeff. Well, Kelly, we've really been looking at the Port Act and then a bill that would give uh, the state approval to purchase the Pimlico race course. Now, Pimlico, that was wrapped up a little bit earlier today by the House. Uh, the Senate still has to confirm the changes that the House made to the Port Act to make sure that it gets through. The eyes have it. Maryland's legislative session is nearing its end. Throughout the 90-day session, the state passed a budget with $350 to $450 million in increases on the backs of motorists and tobacco users. We've got to stop putting the burden of the Transportation Trust Fund on the backs of drivers alone. The state changed how juveniles are dealt with when accused of committing certain crimes, expanding punishments for 10 to 12-year-olds. We have to make sure that accountability is at its core, both accountability for the children that are violating the law uh, and making sure that there are real consequences for that, but also making sure there's accountability for the systems. A bill to protect highway workers passed the General Assembly and another bill compensating port workers is nearing approval. We're making sure that they're getting the pay and they're on standby so when the time comes and that channel is open, they're prepared, they're ready to come right back and that's what the bill does. The governor's signature is all that's needed to approve the state's purchase of Pimlico Racecourse. We think it's important to not, sure, not just make sure that we're protecting an industry that, that means a lot to this state, not just in terms of its history, but in terms of its future. Uh, but also, this is an important bill for the community. Now, senators and delegates are getting a brief break here. I'm told that they'll be back in the chamber in about 10 to 15 minutes. They still have some finishing touches on some key pieces of legislation that they have to get done. These bills will start getting signed tomorrow at 1 o'clock by Governor Wes Moore on the second floor. Live in Annapolis, Jeff Morgan, WMAR, 2 News.